Hey guys, okay, let's get a reading for you guys. Hopefully you are doing really well this evening. Wishing you guys a wonderful 4th of July tomorrow. If you celebrate the 4th, I'm excited. Sea Dew is ready, finally got it fixed, so I'm really excited to be out on the lake. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys. For the collective spirit. Oh, I just heard crushing blow. Hmm, okay. Interesting. For the collective spirit. Meditate. I like that. Okay, I probably it's right for me. <laughs> Don't you meditate? I do need to meditate. Uh, shadow. Hmm. Numbers 40, 43, 34 could be relevant here in time. Hmm. Somebody's got some kind of shift that's actually happening. We have a shift and we have a message. Could be a shift actually in a situation of some sort. Could be a shift in your situation is what I feel. The number 99, 33, 41, or 14, could any of those could be relevant to this to whatever I'm about to say here. Hmm. It's interesting about shadow though. I think I brought up shadow actually in the last reading that I posted. I actually I think the premiere could have came on tonight. I forgot I posted it. Um, yeah. I think I was talking about the shadow and how we sh you know, a lot of people want to just downplay the shadow like, you know, like, you know, it's a bad thing. I, I don't necessarily believe that, to be honest with you. I think we all have it. So it's just a matter of learning how to deal with it, navigate you know, with it in tow, make it your friend, you know, right? So I really feel like there's some kind of shift that has happened. This could definitely be in perspective, but I feel like it could be a little bit more than that. Pay attention to the messages that you're getting. Okay, I know the last reading talked about dreams and stuff like that. It could actually be through dreams. It could also be through the people that are around you. That is one of the beautiful things. I don't have a lot of time to really commit to this channel, but I do feel like that's one of the beautiful things. I love to read like uh, um, the comments a lot of times and I feel like for me, you know, they enhance my life in some way. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, um, a lot of them, actually, I won't just say some of them. I would say a lot of them at times because I just feel like I get so much from them. You know, we're all, we're all in this together, period. Okay. So we're all, you know, teachers. I just find those little nuggets of wisdom just so powerful for me specifically and even my journey. So I always appreciate that. And I don't know why I'm talking about this, I guess because maybe I'm feeling like this could be messages that is just coming um, from from places that are around you, okay? And it's important to really pay attention. So from people, you know, it could be from books. It could be from watching a video. It could be from, you know, something that someone says in past. And I also feel like it's important to not just discount stuff like that right away because even if you don't agree with everything someone has to say or what you're hearing, there may be some nugget in there that you do, you know. So don't don't allow triggers or something to, to have you shut the door because um, whatever that one little line is or whatever that one little aspect in there that you may actually identify with could, could be a game changer for you. I don't know why I feel that. It could be a game changer for you. Huh. And as I'm saying that, I feel like something is changing for you. Something has been a game changer or will be a game changer. Okay. All right, Spirit. What else? What else for the collective tonight? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to sideline for just a minute. I don't know. Do you know I'm sure you guys probably know Wayne Dyer. I'm sure I've also told you this before, probably a long time ago, but Wayne Dyer, I went to counseling one time in my life, right after my divorce, and I saw the counselor, and she was wonderful, remarkable, actually, I was just in my 20s, and I remember at the end of the session, she said to me, okay, do you want to set up another session, and I said, no, I don't. 
I don't think this is the way, you know, I, I just feel like this is probably not going to be for me. Not because I didn't appreciate it. I just, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to go in a different direction um, with it. And I remember her saying to me, um, okay, well, do you read? I said, yeah, of course, I love to read. And she said, well, there is a book by a man named Wayne Dyer. And um, she told me to get it. And the book, what, what was the book? Um, I'm, I almost said Practical Magic, but I'm pretty sure that's a movie. It was, um, oh my God, it will come to me, okay? Something about magic. Anyway, it's, it, I read the book. Uh, then, actually, I've read the book a couple of times. What can I think of it? Let me see what Wayne Dyer's book is called. I can't believe I can't think of this. Let's see. Wayne Dyer. Real Magic, that's it. Yeah, Real Magic. Okay, so that was the book. I read the book. First spiritual book besides the Bible I ever read in my life. This is important. You're going to see why. Many years later, when I was going through something too, it was probably six, seven years later, and I'm really starting to kind of wake up a little bit. This is right before I actually started meditating, things like that. But I'm starting to really question things, you know, question, you know, the nature of the relationships around me, everything like that. And so I'm flipping through the channels at home and Wayne Dyer is on PBS of all channels. It was just on our cable. And I remember that so distinctly because I would never normally stop there. And I remember making a question of why is he on PBS too? I just didn't understand it. And what was so crazy was how triggered I got from what this man said. I got so <laughs> completely triggered because I was thinking about leaving my engagement actually at the time. And I remember him saying, um, if you want to know, I swear to you, it was right in alignment with what I was thinking. He goes, you know, if you want to know, you know, where the problems are in your relationship, you know, you need to look at yourself. I was like, who the f what? <laughs> no way. I was so triggered. And then he was talking about how people mirror back to us, but how it all starts from within us. Everything I know to be true today, but at the moment, oh my God, I fully rejected this notion. There is no way, uh, you know, my unhappiness or the things that I go through were a reflection of me. There's just no way I'm a good person. I mean, I was telling myself every possible thing to build myself up, which I was, but there was still a lot going on underneath the surface. And so because it was him and because I knew of him and because I read his book years earlier before even starting this spiritual journey, so to speak, um, I feel like I don't know. I feel like initially I, I wanted to see what he had to say. But when I heard that, I immediately remember turning off the TV like this dude is crazy. There's no way, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I completely just let it go. And then about two days later, I was driving down 280, which is, a, you know, close or connects to the freeway in Birmingham. I was driving down 280 and all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I just started thinking about it and I started replaying it and about, you know, people being a mirror back to us and really needing to look within. He didn't say all that, but he was basically saying, you know, it's reflected back. You need to look within yourself so you can see how you're creating this. And I don't know. It just, that's when it all started clicking. Like, wait a minute. Is this really what's happening? Is this why these things keep following me from place to place? It's because it's within me. And, and the truth is, that's exactly what it was. And it, within a week, Within a week, I began changing that, okay? Because all of a sudden, I was on this search. I had to figure out what it was, how to change it. I was doing cellular, you know, so I can't remember what it was called, cellular something, hypno, oh, cellular reprogramming, hypnotherapy. Um, I began meditating. I was, I mean, everything. And that's when it all started, right at that time. So again, this is something I fully rejected. There's nothing in that. There's no nugget of wisdom in that whatsoever for me, or so I thought. And it ended up setting up a course of events, setting off a course of events that actually changed my whole life. So I'm bringing that up, I guess, to, <laughs> to kind of my very long way of telling you, don't just deny people or what they're saying or look for conflict in that or shut them down because if you pay attention to what people are saying 
you know, maybe even if you dismiss some of it, sometimes there's something in there. There may be a reason they're saying this to you to begin with, okay? And it could help you. So just remember that. I just think that's important. And you should know, if you're using discernment, you should know what's what, I think, with that as well, guarding here. Yeah, something is changing, okay? It could be some kind, I don't know if this is a reunion. I feel like this is around work in some way because I definitely feel like there is something here to do. I have Libra and Leo energy meeting someone. Okay, so this could be at some kind of party that you're going to. This could be through some kind of networking, some kind of retreat, something like that. Oh, wow. I really feel like something that you're doing is growing. It's, it is expanding in some way. There's definitely some kind of shift that is happening. I'm going to look at this shadow energy because I'm definitely not seeing this at this particular time. Whatever this is. Actually, look where that fell. I'm just talking about the shadow energy and now look where that fell. You got to make sure that you don't have aspects of yourself is what I want to say because I feel like I really need to lean into you right now. Make sure there's not aspects of yourself that are actually keeping you stuck. All right maybe being stubborn, maybe not wanting to see things clearly because I feel like something is coming at you pretty fast and I feel like I need to make a decision pretty fast too. Whatever this is, is going to create some kind of shift in your life that is going to garner you some kind of stability is what I feel. Yeah, definitely some kind of stability. So this could certainly have you uh, communicating something. It could have you um, perhaps negotiating in some way. I feel there's going to be a bit of nervousness around this as well because I think something here in the shadow is telling you this is not for you or too big of an endeavor for you or you're not ready or something like that. And I feel like that's why Spirit is saying, listen, the time is now. You need to really meditate on this. This is coming in at this time because we're bringing it in because you are ready, okay? Other people see you're ready for whatever this is, so don't doubt yourself. Sagittarius energy right there, Capricorn. Yeah, because whatever this is, it's going to bring you some kind of victory. Some kind of victory here. This is an actual calling for you is what I'm seeing. I, I always love this particular card because this person fears nothing. And you can see that. They have their back turned to everything. They're staring out at the sun, their victory. They're connecting here, you know with the sun i feel like this person's blowing the trumpet like i know i've won i've arrived in some way somebody feels somebody's gonna feel like they've actually arrived in some way huh you know what's so interesting about this is we're talking about the shadow it's almost like i have control over that or i'm getting control over that as well this is a part of you. That's the thing. I want you to understand this is not outside of you. This is within you. I feel it. Now, I did a Sag reading earlier today. I haven't even posted it yet. And there was an element to this, but it wasn't so much the shadow. But it, maybe it was, actually. Yeah, maybe it was, actually. It's just coming out in different ways. I feel like in different cards here the change that you're making something that you're seeing something that you feel like you are because I'm I'm connecting higher here this kind of goes back to the comments right and the frequency look at this that's what someone was talking about earlier today which I totally agree with by the way frequency getting myself out of this lower frequency getting control over this aspect of myself or learning to function with it differently not putting too much attention perhaps on this somebody is stepping into a time of maybe fame or good fortune or something like that i feel like something that maybe could have stressed you or something in the past you're now about to have some kind of great outcome with and you can actually turn your back on that and turn it back to focusing on this, okay? You can turn it back to focusing on the things that make you happy. Something is really deeply illuminated for you. And that's where I feel like you really want to keep your eyes at at the moment. I'm getting a message about time not being your friend. I don't know if this is something that people have... 
Maybe you've thought that you've lost a lot of time in this or time has not been your friend in this situation. What am I getting? Why am I getting time is not my friend now? Maybe you feel like time has been taken from you or something has taken too much time. But I feel like you're about to reap the rewards from whatever this is. And whatever it is, I feel like it's enduring. This could just be about you changing. But I always say, and it's so true, as we change, the external world must change as well, right? It's going to change with us because we are actually creating in that moment. And that is what I feel here. I think this anchor here might have to do with your own stubbornness, with you staying the course, with you kind of digging in, in a sense, being enduring, in a sense, and not letting up. Yeah, look at that. Not letting up. Yeah, I feel like you have gotten yourself deeply rooted into something here, Virgo Energy. Okay, I feel like you are deeply rooted, and this is definitely going to be a time of expansion for you. With deep roots, you know, that's the, that's the part I want you to understand. This has deep roots. This is not something like a tower, right, that's built on a false foundation that's going to fall over or be destroyed and have to be rebuilt. This is deeply rooted into something. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is this that's growing i would say the the expansion that seems to be happening you may also be getting some assistance here i feel from some kind of ancestors but something is growing and there's so much light under this tree and around this tree and here we see a person that feels like they're reaching some level of victory here this is very personal i feel this is not just about monetary victory. I feel like this is a personal victory. This is about growth. It's more than it. It is awakening, but it's more than that. Do you guys know Louise Hay? I don't know if you know Louise Hay, but I love to refer to her. She did heal, you know, you can heal your life, all of that. If you ever get a chance to read her, you absolutely should because she absolutely designed her life um, around what she taught. And she always talked about the power of words and what you believed and, and that kind of stuff and, and how it could either deter you, okay, or it could lift you up. And she said, she was talking about how we have to be very articulate with the things that we do and say, immaculate even, um, with our words because... Um, yeah, because they can actually harm us. And so anyway, she believed that her life was a certain way. And she showed photos one time of her house and videos and stuff and did a little interview with that. And I mean, it literally looked like the Garden of Eden. It was just so gorgeous. And, uh, and that's the way she lived her whole life. She designed it the way that she saw the world, you know, or maybe she saw the world first and that allowed her to really kind of design that. And I thought that was just so beautiful. And she, I mean, you could feel her energy. This, this is a woman that definitely watched her talk. She was just incredible. She wouldn't even say things like, you know, those sayings that we have, like, you know, kill two birds and with one stone. She would say, why would you want to kill two birds? Which I totally get, by the way. But, I mean, she would say things like that just to make people think. And why, why would we even make, you know, why would we even say something like that? Why would you want to skin a cat? You know, why would you want to do that? We say a lot of dumb things, but we don't realize that words have power, right? Words are creative. And what she was trying to, to trying to let people know, I feel, was, you know, you have to be very careful with what you're saying, what kind of power you're putting into things and sending them out there because they are creative, right? And so if you want to have a beautiful life, if you want to have something, I'm getting that so much off of these cards, right? That has very deep roots. And I don't know why I'm being drawn to almost like ancestral things that happen to us that keep getting passed on for some reason. This is almost like somebody that is getting to the root of that, getting to the root of that, lighten it up, okay? So I'm actually highlighting this. I'm figuring this out so that this tree can continue to grow, but much stronger, okay? So that my children and their children, you know, and grandchildren and so on and so forth um, can have a better chance. Somebody here is, somebody's figuring something out. That's what I feel, most definitely. All right, let me get some tarot cards.
Yeah, this is happening very fast. Yeah, someone could be, I think, and I said this earlier, some, some messages coming in quite quickly that could be creating some kind of shift here. Okay, Spirit is saying you need to really meditate and get into alignment with this because some kind of planning is going to need to happen here. You have to choose the path is what I'm getting. And the thing about it is that you're not really planning in the dark. The two of wands can be like you feel like you're planning in the dark, but we see the sun right here. It's really lighting the way for you. It's leading you. It's actually guiding you. It's beckoning you in a sense. This could be about some kind of divine love, some kind of divine relationship, but it could also just be about you moving into some sense, which is exactly what I was getting here, of emotional stability, okay? Feeling like you have it all, domestic joy. This is, I've won. This is a victory, okay? I've won, and I've got my back to anything that maybe that I thought before could have been opposing me or in my way. I'm not I'm not afraid of anything. I'm going to look out here. This is what makes me happy. This, okay, is my reality because I choose it to be. There it is. That's the awakening right there. That is the awakening right there. Some kind of decision that is being made so that you can move forward. I feel like I'm work towards something here. Seven of Wands. Here we go. Yeah. You may find that you're having to stand your ground or like you've been standing your ground. I feel like this is something that has been there for a while. Maybe you feel like you've had to defend your position, especially when I'm feeling so much relief in this card up here. Okay, like you're not bothered. Maybe you have felt like you needed to do that. I do feel that you are a person that will naturally be very protective over whatever this is that is happening. I'm protecting my territory. I'm protecting myself. Um, I'm up for the challenge, whatever that may be. Something along those lines. You're a fighter for sure. But I don't think you have anything to worry about. For the, that You don't. You absolutely don't have anything to worry about. So if you feel like you're being challenged in some way, and that could very well be happening, okay? I think this is more, i I got to be honest with you, I'm not feeling a lot of outside people here, okay? So I'm wondering if this challenge is actually something that is within you, that you're learning to understand a bit more and how it works and, and how to deal with things as they kind of pop up. And how these things, in retrospective, maybe caused you some kind of problems or even delays or brought other people or things into your life to highlight those things for you so that you could actually see them, right? And work on them so that you could move forward. Uh, the Spirit is really working, I feel like, around you to bring your attention, your awareness to this, to continue to bring it back to self into a higher understanding, which I think was just talked about in another reading. You got to look at things from a higher perspective here. What is it all about? Well, it's all about the journey back to yourself, which does take work and which does bring conflict, okay? Because we have a lot of things that happen to us over our life, right? But this is about clearing that out and awakening to the truth of it all. All right, Spirit, what else? So, what is coming up for the collective? What is this? So, that's what the shift is about. I think you're definitely looking towards some kind of long-term security here. Could be saving your money at this particular time. That's all about a self-imposed prison, which is just what I was just now talking about. I think you, I talked about time not being your friend or feeling that way. I think you feel like time is stole from you in some way. I think you could have had your own, and, and again, you know, you could have had things happening for, for, for hello, for sure, okay? Um, maybe you haven't been able to speak your truth considering I'm getting, I'm stumbling a bit over here, but this is more about feeling powerless or feeling like, um, I, I just feel like you've been a victim of your own self-imposed thoughts in some way, overthinking something. And now it looks like you're trying to move out of this situation. You could actually be making a big move. That could actually be what the shift is, but there's definitely some kind of movement forward after you actually assert some kind of willpower and take control back in your life here. It's interesting too, because when you think about the chariot, this is all about 
two opposing forces working towards a common goal. And I keep talking about you getting control over the shadow or you learning to work or understand the shadow a little bit better. It's like you're allowing the two to emerge here and understanding the duality is okay. Yeah, you're very strong. I want you to always honor that about yourself, okay? It's important to have good boundaries, of course, but I feel like this is you being very resilient and continuing to persevere towards whatever this is and move forward here. Yeah, look at this. You're you're moving away from something. You're you're definitely moving away from something. And this is something that you may have felt like you were battling with for a very long time. And it, this feels very personal to me. I'm sorry, but I do. I, this is not something I can direct outward because I don't feel it. I feel like this is all about you. And I think maybe you know that this could definitely be where your attention is as well. Okay. So the shift that is happening is actually massive. It may feel ever so slight within you. You may not fully understand it, but it's actually massive in your life. Things will begin to change, and I feel like they are beginning to change because of that. I, you know, I want to go back to the trumpet again. This person seems very relaxed. They're not looking backwards. They're not looking over their shoulder. They're just gazing out, and they're in a very relaxed position, almost like saying, I've made it. I found victory. I finally see things very clearly. I really don't have anything to worry about, and that's what I'm getting here as well. I'm walking away really from this notion that I feel like has kept me in the self-imposed prison in some way, right? I know what I'm made of. I know how powerful um, I really am. I know that I have access to everything that I need. I know that I can stay in this for as long as I wish, okay, or I can move beyond it. I'm not talking about ignoring something. I'm talking about changing something. There's so much energy that is being changed around this situation. And this is kicking it up a notch for you is what I'm feeling. Okay, I want to look at this message because I have no idea what that's about. So what is this message coming for in here for the collective? What is the message about? Again, it is swords in reverse. You are coming out of something that has kept you stuck. You have eight of swords coming out twice here. So whatever this, and the message could be coming from source here. The message could be coming, like I was talking about, paying attention, meditate, pay attention to the messages that are coming in, potentially through your dreams again, okay, because they're telling you something, and this is what they're telling you. Okay, you're not stuck. You're free to do what you need to do. If you are staying in this thought process, this prison of your thoughts, right? You're going to have to turn that around if you truly want change in your life and in your circumstances. Because look at this. They're trying to free you. They're trying to free you. Okay, you're not stuck. In fact, you have your independence. You really have everything around you. You've been manifesting it, but you keep continuing to hold yourself back is what I'm feeling. So you're not either taking the leap or you're not fully buying into what you're saying or studying or doing here. And that again is about uh, meditation as well because when we meditate, we're not staying generally right here in this 3D world, right? When you meditate, you of course are connecting higher at that moment calming your mind, calming down all this 3D noise that is actually around you so that you can connect, so that you can get direct transmissions and you can understand a little bit better what is happening around you. See a bit clearer. Quiet in the noise. Spirit is trying to take you somewhere else, take you out of this place where you have felt stuck, where you felt like time was getting the best of you and put you into this state where you've already manifested because it's already in your energy here. It's just waiting for you to kind of get out of your own way, okay, where you feel content like you have it all, all right, where you can see things actually come into fruition that you know you've been working on. You just had to get beyond some of this other stuff. There is a polarity. It's like I'm, yeah, I'm trying to move forward here. 
but all of this was holding me back. So, okay, this is the full reading to me. It has everything to do with changing, changing things, changing the way we see things, 100%, which came up in the reading I did last night, um, which was in the comments as well. Um, talking about frequency, you might, guys may want to go and see that. Somebody put something I think very valuable on there about that. All of this is relevant, and it's coming out just like that in tonight's reading as well. So if you want something different, you have to be willing to look at things differently and do some work to take you there. It's not enough to just get up and do an affirmation or, or two. You know what I'm saying? Really do things that actually connect you and that get all of this other stuff out of your way for a moment so that you can connect and really see things clearly, okay? Because if we just do things on the fly or we listen to a little podcast or something like that, it might motivate us for a minute, but it's, what's really important is your connection back to self. That's when things are going to get clearer for you. All right, I, honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it right there. I'll get into something else, but I feel like I need to stop, so I'm going to stop right here. I hope you guys have a wonderful fourth, and I will see you when I get back. Bye.